guys, welcome to a new vlog. Yes, a vlog. <laughs> my tea time video about my struggles with YouTube and my creative kind of block went up yesterday when I'm filming this. The response has been absolutely overwhelming. First of all, thank you so much for all of your super kind words, reassuring um, messages. It really, really means a lot and it has put things in a completely different perspective for me. Right now, the best thing for me to do, I think, is to just make videos and not worry as much about the branding of my channel, I guess, because I've been trying over the past months to stick with a clearer niche because I hope that that would kind of make my channel grow more and help my views in general. But honestly, I think it would be better at this point to just go back to making whatever video I fancy making that day. I do really enjoy making the videos that don't do as well on my channel, which funnily enough, and that is pretty much what I was talking about in that tea time video the videos that do the least well on my channel are the videos that you guys named as your favorites so my vlogs my food videos my cleaning and organizing videos things like that that is content that i personally really enjoy making from time to time the subscription box on youtube is pretty much dead and it doesn't really matter as much as it used to back in the old days because people usually watch from their recommended page anyway and not from their subscription box anymore. I think my focus needs to shift from building a super strong and clearly defined brand into just making a video that's good and then another video that's good and another video that's good. And what makes a video good is honestly for the most part determined by the passion that I put into it. Is that actual sunshine? <gasps> oh, I haven't felt sunshine on my face in days. <laughs> We've had some really dark days over here, guys. Anyway, so that was a lot of blabbering. Well, I guess I just wanted to say I'm gonna vlog today because apparently you guys really enjoy vlogs. Sorry, I'm just fidgeting with this sunflower seed peel that one of the rats left here. It would be good if I take today to tackle some things that have been sitting in the back of my mind, kind of weighing on my shoulders. Like I still need to do those, but I've been putting them off for a really long time. I just need one of those days where you just take care of all of those little things. I also need to write a blog post. My brother and I went vintage shopping in Amsterdam yesterday and we've gone a few times now and we definitely have a few favorite spots that are definitely the best I feel in town. So I want to make a blog post where I kind of show you all of those. I have considered doing it in video form but none of those stores actually really allow cameras inside. For now, I just want to make like an overview of what are the best stores and what can you find inside them. There's loads more stuff to do, so yes. I'm gonna start by making myself a cup of tea. So that's what we do over here and get to work. Oh, also, I did just want to say that getting those things on my chest in that video and then also tackling a few of those things already that I've just been putting off because I didn't want to do them, like getting a bookkeeper and booking an appointment at the hospital. Oh, I hate hospitals. It's nothing serious, I just need to get my wisdom teeth checked out because my dentist isn't sure whether they will fit and they're coming through. So he wants the um, jaw surgeon, is that what they're called in English as well, to take a look at it to see what he thinks. Um, that's really it. Just those two things and speaking up about, you know, all this stuff has helped a lot. And I actually already have a small list of some really cool video ideas that I want to work on ready that have just been popping up in my mind and I have a few videos filmed already that are um, pretty good if I may say so myself or at least that I'm very happy with. By the time you're watching this one of those is already up, one is ready so yeah okay time for tea. of things that I should do but have been putting off is putting our pillows in the washing machine. It's all small, silly little things like that, but once you let them pile up, it becomes like this big, massive thing. That will take like a few minutes and why haven't I done this sooner? Because <sighs> I haven't taken the time to do it. Let's go. <laughs> I 
I'm still working on that blog post, but it's time for a little break. So I'm gonna take out the recycling. blog post is done really happy with it so i think it's time to head to the grocery store now before everyone gets off work and storms the place <laughs> i am uh, cooking for the scout leaders at scouting tonight i don't have a meeting myself with my own group the others do and they're all working until um pretty late so i have offered to cook for them so i'm gonna get some food for them and me of course pillows are in the dryer there the weather's been pretty bad these past few days. We had a bout of like super summery weather and then it just disappeared again. But yeah, it's not raining, so that's a good thing. Okay, let's go. I know that some of you have been wondering how I take my groceries on my bike. This shopping bag, I have a few of these actually. They have these kind of hooks that hook onto the side of my bike so that I can, you know, carry my things. But honestly, very often I will just take my bag over my arm like that. If it's a shopping bag, I'll just take it like that cycle this is actually the way i usually do it this is the back of my bike so i just take my little bag and it just latches onto here and i'm good to go and then i usually put my handbag in my little basket like that so that i don't have to hold anything <laughs> So here's what I ended up buying, not a lot today. Whole wheat dark bread, mandarin oranges, some nacho chips, coriander, buns that I can put in the oven, black beans in chili sauce, orange juice. This is what I'm gonna make tonight. Um, it's a Thai green curry. You usually get enough ingredients for four portions and the recipe is written on the side. I just really like these. Yeah, it's nice and easy. You don't have to really think about what you wanna make. And then I have some chicken to go with that, so. Yeah, that's it. Next up are a few small kind of sewing project, little reparations, things like that. I have a cup of tea here. I'm gonna put some music on and take a little sewing kit. Look how cute my sewing kit is. <laughs> I have a few of these reusable shopping bags that have just torn at the handles. They usually aren't that sturdy and with time they will start to kind of fall apart. So I'm just gonna fix those. This one has a handle that has completely fallen off, but this one's super precious to me because it is from the Efteling. And Robert got it for me there when we were there for my 25th birthday, which was easily one of the best days of my life. So yeah, this one tore off, but I mean, this is not a problem to repair. Then this pair of jeans, which <laughs> has a hole in the bum. Um, because I climbed up a tree and there was a nail sticking out of it. So now there's a hole right here. But again, I can fix that, it's no problem. There's a little bit of a tear here. So I'm gonna see if I can repair that as well. I had just bought these jeans like two weeks before, so I'm really bummed, but this is nothing that cannot be fixed. This is the little bell that Bran, Bran's one of the rats. He wears this when he goes out of the cage because he really likes to free roam and just run around the room. So I make him wear this little bell so that I know where he is and we don't either lose him or end up stepping on him because he's really tiny and he doesn't make any sounds. So now he does. It's just for his own safety. It's just a really, really weak hair elastic, but it, it works to hold the bell. Kevin has been showing interest in going down on the floor as well. So I want to make a second one for him so that he can join his brother and run around. 
the room. Let's turn on some music and get going. Meh, it's far from perfect, but this will do. Finish these handles. That's a lot better. Also not the neatest job, but who cares as long as they work. So I have to do this one and the little bell, but I have to leave. Ratties are nibbling away at their food in the background, but I have to go over to the scouting now to prepare the food. I'll finish the rest of these when I get back. Taking my handy dandy bike bag with me again. I also really need to vacuum. Let these little monsters out. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, they are so ready. He's very excited. Okay, let's go. For a bit and um, work on something. <laughs> we are, we as in our scout group, planning a silent disco party. It's next week, I think. Pretty soon in any case. We plan to have two music streams that people can stream into their headphones, but we don't have a DJ for the night itself. We're going to be doing everything ourselves and since we want to enjoy the party as well, we've decided to make this six or seven hour mixtape. <laughs> to just play during the entire party. I am currently just going through like how many songs? Like 600 songs, over 500, and cutting them down to the most kind of catchy part of the song. So I'm gonna do that for just an hour now, and then I'm gonna call it the day and watch Temptation Island. <laughs> on my knitting project a little bit while watching TV. I am knitting a cardigan. It's actually gonna be the first proper wearable item I make using a pattern. So that's probably actually gonna look good. <laughs> I'm using this pattern. It's from this book. I believe this is by a German blogger, but it's translated into Czech. And this is the cardigan. So I'm really, really excited. Here's another photo of it. It has pockets, which is great. Can't wait to finish it. I really like this yarn as well. It's really nice. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys, because it is, yeah, 11 o'clock and really time for me to go to bed. So I hope you enjoyed coming with me today on this day in my life. Um, just a plain old day in my life. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There's another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video.